Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I've been tasked with cleaning up the mess that I've left around. No longer is it a man's duty, a woman's duty. It is now a robotic duty and I'm excited about this guy because this guy uses aerospace technology for mapping, true mapping, millimeter precise object detection. So I want to see if this truly works. This is the Evovax D-Bot. Yeah. Look at that. Aerospace mapping technology, lasers are flying everywhere. It's made for big houses to scan the rooms. That's what it says right here. What else has it got? It's got 2,300 PA suction power, high performance. The fan spin up to 19,000 RPM. <laughs> Eat that MacBook Pro. Oh yeah, we just get it out. Whoa, this is huge. You get a mobile vacuum cleaner, and this is robotic. It has lasers to map out your room. You can kind of like tell it where to go and all that stuff. We'll, of course, be testing this out. And you get a base station, this base station right here. And the idea is it docks in the base station and then on a schedule, it just goes around your place to the places you want it to go and it will clean a mop. And then it will return back when it needs to charge up. The cool thing about this fella, like I said, is that this is actually a dustbin. So it will, after it's, collected all the rubbish, it will automatically suck up all the gunk into this station and then once a month, you go ahead and empty this guy out. All right, so this is it, fully docked up here. It's currently charging. What I did was like, you hold the power button for three seconds and it tries finding its way to the dock. I'm gonna install the app to see if I can get more precise movement. Inside, you also get, this is an accessory piece for the dock. You put this underneath and it's kind of like a ramp if you are planning to put the dock on a carpet. This is a re-cleanable microfiber, just attaching it on the top here. And this is the attachment piece if you wanna do some mopping. And these are disposable pads. So open it up right there. It's a just replacement, you know, I guess. So it's currently charging right now. You can use it manually. So let's see if I can do a quick demonstration. Apparently you just tap the button here. Starting cleaning. I got a bit of an obstacle course. I'll see what happens. There's a bit of hair. Oh. Hey. Okay, that's enough. Okay, with a tap of the button, you can get it to pause. Basically, you shouldn't have too much mess going on around it, because it can bump into some objects. And if you want it to return home, you just hold the power button for three seconds. Return to charge. And you should figure it out. Done. So just sucking up all of the little bits of hair that is collected off the table. <laughs> all right, now it's time for the real test. Now, this place is a bit messy, but I'm gonna make it real messy. I've got some tea and I've just spilled on the floor. Oh no, I'm in trouble. What am I gonna do? There are two ways to operate this beast. One, you just tap that button right there and it just starts to go. And that is great. If you are concerned about privacy, it means you can run it offline, it goes back to home when you hold it down for three seconds and you're good. However, if you want to use the advanced features which are only available in the app, you need to have internet access to both the robot, robot vacuum and your smartphone and it has a centralized server where it does the communication too. Good thing about that is you can customize no-go zones. So I probably don't want it going close to this uh, grand piano, a bit dangerous, maybe the dining area. So I'm going to go auto and just start off. So it's now firing lasers to figure out how the room is. So far the map is empty, but let's see how it populates it in a bit. There are cleaning preferences. You can define the vacuum power, the water flow level, all this kind of cool stuff. And it's coming straight towards me. Oh, it's already almost mapped out the room itself. It's heading straight towards the dining table. A bit worth. Oh! It, oh, oh, okay. So it's working its way through the dining table, through the chairs. Oh, hopefully it doesn't fit in through there. And it's slowly mapping out the room, as you can see right there, figuring out where it can go. Now I'm just gonna stand in front of the piano because I don't want it to go anywhere near here. So I'm putting my, yeah. Yeah, you shan't pass. Oh, he's climbing over my feet. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> so I'm now using the virtual 
boundary feature and Dbot will automatically avoid specified areas during cleaning. So there's no mop zone, you can do that and all this kind of cool stuff. So you use the rectangle and say, I don't want it to do any of this area. It's working its way around the chairs. Um, you know, you really need the app to set up these boundaries because it can go rogue without it. <laughs> You're not that slim, mate. <laughs> All right, finally, I feel like we're on a nice path now that we've got the boundary set up. Yeah, it's gonna work its way around this imaginary box. I'm feeling confident it's not gonna hit the piano. Doing it. So it looks like he's gonna do a few more sweeps to finish off the show. That's all right. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the return home because that was a nice demonstration. So there's a return to charge button. Just tap it right there. And let's see if it figures it out and you can do it. Forwards. That way, come on, you can do it. Come on, mate. He's really calculating it. How's he gonna get on the ramp? And this is gonna be the cool bit, wait for it. The vacuum is gonna turn on, it's gonna suck out all the dirt. All right, let's see what we got. The bag knocked it out like that and you can see inside it it's collected all of those tea leaves and a bit of yucky hair yo all that crap so i gotta say that's all right surprisingly we got some action happening here we didn't damage too much it did get a bit hairy around objects that were already there it didn't do any damage so that was good but i definitely use it with the app and have the safety boxes and just get it going in certain areas so let me know what do you think of this amazing aerospace technology dbot vacuum cleaner it also does mopping features all this kind of good stuff you get a nice little kit looks nice and sleek let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed the show